Father, forgive us for what we must do. You forgive us, we'll forgive you. We'll forgive each other till we both turn blue. Then we'll whistle and go fishing in heaven. Fish and whistle, whistle and fish. Eat everything that they put on your dish. And when we get through, we'll make a big wish that we'll never have to do this Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet, and we are here in St. Croix Lake, Michigan, at the Sandy Cape, which is where I'm going to start out with this particular episode. I, I was asked by one of my viewers to see if I could catch a uh, tiger muskie. Now, that is a very particular challenge, guys, because the tiger muskie are very, very hard to catch and find. It's more of finding them than catching them actually but there's been a couple of places that I have been able to catch them I've never caught a unique so maybe today we'll get lucky anyway so what we need to mainly do is make certain that we're in a peak and sunny days seem to work the best and it just so happens it's a sunny day now we were in a peak in the morning right now now if we don't catch anything we can always advance time to the evening and see if we can't try our luck then the only problem is there's a lot of mist at this time of day, so it's going to be a little problem with visibility, so bear with me on that. But we're going to go ahead and jump in here at Sandy Cape, take a private room. Alright, looks like it's raining, which is sometimes typical for this place, even though the sun appears to be out also. But anyway, what we're going to do is we need to walk all the way down here. I just recently did a video for Fishing Planet Classic on the unique white bass. One thing that's nice about both platforms, this and the classic version, pretty much the hot spots that are there are also good here. At least so far they've been that way. I usually come in here and do my homework first to make sure that's the case. But I have a marker right there that's for the white bass. Same place that I caught them on Fishing Planet Classic. Now we need to be at the same spot though. This rock is the important landmark that we need to, to place ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and put a rod pod down. And we'll do some bottom fishing along with that. Now the main area of interest guys is right over here. Where those reeds are, over to these reeds here. It's kind of hard to see with the mist, but there is a marker right there. I don't know if you can see it, but if I pull up the map, you'll see it a little bit better. Let me zoom in on it. And see, we're over here. That's the marker for the trophy. Well, it was a trophy white bass that I caught there. But there's the last tiger muskie that I've caught. So that's where they're found at least one of the spots, but my understanding is they can be caught anywhere between those locations. Like I said, I've only caught a trophy before. Not on this game, I caught it on a Fishing Planet Classic. And we're going to see if we can't do a little bit better this time. So I'm going to throw this one out here. Now they really go for the shiners, guys. And a 6 odd hook is good. You need some pretty heavy line and make sure you have a titanium leader. Otherwise they may bite right through it. Now I'm going to try a large middle on this one. I've had some luck with the large middles too. And actually I'm going to put that over there by that marker. Now we're going to give this a try with some lure fishing to start off with. And we might do some float fishing if that doesn't pan out too well. Now, there's a lot of lures these guys go for. I've had them go for buzz baits. I've had them go for crank baits. Live baits, as you've already seen. But this one seems to particularly grab their attention. Now, this one was one that I got during the Halloween event. The slimy crank. Believe it or not, it seems to be very effective. I'm going to use this one this time. 
And there's some other ones we can try too. There's a popper that I want to give a shot at while we're here. It's a major popper. Let's give this slimy crank a try, a try because that's what caught that last tiger muskie. Was this very lure here. Usually keep the speed at about two. Now there is a deeper portion of this little inlet that comes off here. So it's a little deeper than 12 feet. Not much. There we go. Whoa, whoa, okay, he's... He was a bit on the serious side. Yeah, this is a pretty big fish. Let's see what we got here. There you go. And he's a new personal record for the fishing, the fisherman. He isn't a trophy. He's just a common. 11 pounds, 1,198 cash. Alright, looks like I got a challenge completed here. Looks all you need is lure three. Catch a certain number of fish using lure tackle. Three bait coins. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Well there they are. Same spot. Still going off to the same lure. I'm going to try this one more time with this lure. I have a feeling I might have overfished that spot though. However, but if we don't have any luck this time, I think I'm going to try that major popper that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, so far the bullfrog, the trophy bullfrog popper has been one of the best for these guys. I had to purchase another one because the last time I was here, one of the something took it and snapped it right off. I didn't have a titanium lead on there. I didn't realize it. You've got to have that titanium lead. Fluorocarbon and mono will not work. These guys have some choppers and they'll take it right off of there. Yeah, it looks like I've overfished that. So I'm going to get a different lure here. I thought I had a major popper in here. Maybe I don't. No, I do not. Darn. Well, we do have the frog popper. Man, it's a little on the light side, so I'm hoping it'll make it all the way across there. Yeah, I am going to try the same location with this, but I'm not so sure I'm going to have the same... I don't know why that keeps doing that. It's so weird. But it seems like it always gets higher on the tension when I change lures. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Let's see if the bullfrog popper does anything with this. With these tiger musky. Yeah, guys, it's definitely this rain is affecting the way these things are biting. And we're about ready to come out of the peak here. Oh, gosh. Everything changed. <laughs> oh, man. Well, that, that stinks. This sometimes happens when it's close to midnight. It'll switch days, even though it didn't really switch days, if that makes any sense. Well, that explains a lot. 
Alright guys, let's try this then. We aren't even in a peak anymore. <laughs> While we've been here, it has gone out of the peak. So we're going to go ahead and grab these rods. That makes perfect sense as to why these have had no effect at all. No biting, nothing. That's one thing I've noticed with these both fishing planets is if it's around midnight, your weather will change or your peaks will change. It's Rain has stopped. I'm going to go ahead and grab this back. And we're going to advance time. Actually, I might even advance to the next day because, like I said, it really does better in the morning. I pulled out enough money out of that anyway, so it didn't really hurt me. And let me check the peak time. That's right. We're going into the peak. But like I said, usually on these sunny mornings, which is why I really threw, blew my mind of the change like that. There's always a mist. And that can make things a little tougher. As you can tell, you cannot see that marker right now. So, we're going to have to work our way around that in some manner. At least you can see the reeds. So, I'm going to go ahead and set these out the way I had before. I'm going to try to put this at about 100 feet and that thing just went up again. That really blows my mind it does that. I wonder if this one did it too. No, but <sighs> I wish I could see my marker. I can't. Well, I think it's around here. <laughs> Let's get that, let's see, no, that's my float rod. There's no way I'll see a float rod out in this mist. Not sure about the frog popper. We tried it before, and I just saw something jump over there, and I'm going to try that. Sometimes, if you throw towards something that jumps, it tends to work. Well, there's definitely something over there. Let's try a different one. Let's try this eight-foot crank. I had a bite on that pretty regularly too. In this low light, the blue will probably show up pretty good. Yeah, there's something. I don't know that that's what we're after, though. It was a little too close to this side of the things. No, nope. that's a trophy. I'll be darned. I'll be darned. First one I've gotten on this particular platform. Let's see how big he is. 16 pounds. That's a nice looking fish. 
can get him in the light there. There we go. Very nice. So let's see here. Pull up the map. Now that's where I caught the other one. Let's see where th this one was caught. Dan gun near right on top of it. So that's definitely the spot, guys. Without a doubt. Now, the trick is, where is it? I can't see it now. <laughs> well, I see it. I think I see it. Maybe. Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, he must have been following it. That's why... Even though it was much closer to this side... Yeah, the blue cranks seem to do really well in the early morning. Not only with these guys, but also if you're fishing for walleye off of uh, Fairy Tail Dock, they really go for these eight foot crankbaits. There we go. Bullfrog popper. Darn thing always works very well. I don't know if we got a tiger muskie though. We'll see. Yep, northern pike. <laughs> I don't think the tiger muskies go for it. it. Says they do, but... Yeah, they didn't react to that major popper at all. But I got quite a bit of reaction to this. Sometimes though they don't get latched on. See there's something going on over there already. Yeah, I'm not getting a whole lot of reaction from the tiger muskies off of that. So I think we are going to go with an old fail save. I've got this to 60 inches. They seem to be a little bit deeper than the regular muskie. I've got a 37 pound test on here with a 30 pound braid line. Titanium leader is 22.2. That's might be able to do better than that. I'm not sure if I have any. Yes, I do. I have 32 right here. That'll give us a little more of a pull. It's seeing a lot of jumping right around here. There's a little bit more. Let's pull a little bit closer to where I saw that.
Okay, there we go. Something's finally after it. Let's see what we got here, guys. And it is another tiger muskie. So that is where they are, without a doubt. No uniques, though. Not one. Darn. That's uh, infuri a bit infuriating, <laughs> to the point. But yeah, about 100 feet out. 120 to 100 feet out. Right where I have that marker. They seem to hover in that same area. I'm going to put this down here for a second here. I'm going to try throwing this now that I can see what I'm doing. When I first put these out here, I couldn't see the markers. There's definitely a lot of activity right there. I'll be damned. As soon as I moved it. As soon as I moved it. Yeah, I, I was guessing when I threw that out there. And whatever this is, it is huge. It is absolutely huge. And this is off large metals, so I think it is a tiger, guys. No, it is a regular muskie. At 11.04. Still, not bad. And as soon as I put it in the right spot, in line with one of these, right about there. Hundred feet, that's perfect, right there. I'm going to move this one over here. Just seeing if it's moving this over in the same general vicinity. Might have the same reaction. be damned. We got another one. And it's another good sized fish. Holy crap. He just keeps taking it out.
He's not done yet. Wow. Could this be it? Could this be the elusive unique? Well, that's at least a trophy. There's no way it couldn't be. Man. This guy is not giving it up. I can't get him any closer than about 40. There we go. Come on, fella. We got him. Whatever he is. Whew. Trophy musky. Yeah, he's definitely good size. So this is an excellent place for the, tr the mu regular musky as well. Not bad. All right. Well, that apparently seems to be the spot. We're going to keep at it, guys. We are going to get the unique eventually. It's just a matter of time. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of The Fisherman Fishing Planet. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.